Maritime Bus, a coach bus company based in Moncton, New Brunswick, is arguably one of Atlantic Canada's most affordable and reliable methods of transportation. Founded in 2012, the company provides daily transport to every big city or small town from as far east as Sydney, Nova Scotia to as west as Rivière de Loup, Quebec. For those of you who don't know me, hi, my name's Noah, I run the channel Noki Travels, and today we're doing Maritime Bus's most popular bus route, a bus ride between Moncton, New Brunswick to Halifax, Nova Scotia. Right now, I'm actually not in Moncton, I'm in the Amherst bus station. But a few months ago, I took a bus ride between Moncton and Amherst, so let's roll that footage back before we hop on our bus to Halifax today. Good old Moncton station. This place never gets old. I was just talking to the missus at the desk who uh, works for Maritime Bus and she said that the first bus from Moncton to Halifax is actually sold out. They had to get a second bus to do the Moncton to Halifax route and apparently that's the one that I'm on. Boarding now. I'm gonna get my uh, vaccine papers out just to make sure that, you know, that goes a little smooth. What'd they say, bus 2023? We're just showing our tickets here or? I'll get them in the box. Okay, perfect. But for now, while we're just waiting to get settled in, let's do a seat review. Got a cup holder here so I can just take my water bottle. Maybe not. Down here we have a footrest. The seats themselves, they're okay. They're a little firm. They're good for a short bus ride, but if you tried to do this overnight, no sir, that would not be good. Seat belts here. That's important too. And this fantastically large window. That's just great for looking out. What was your last name, buddy? Uh, Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y. Yeah, we we'll go to Amherst. Yep. Thanks, Bill. Thank you. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome each and every one of you aboard Maritime Bus today. The final destination today for this bus is Halifax. What's the first stop of the afternoon? The Moncton Airport. From the airport, we then travel down to Sackville. And from Sackville, right over into Amherst. Our first stop of the day is Moncton International Airport, with another stop in Sackville, New Brunswick before crossing into Nova Scotia and arriving into Amherst. Nova Scotia, we've arrived. <sighs> okay, you get all that? That's good, we're up to date. Today is June 28th, 2022. I'm hopping on maritime bus all the way to Halifax. I was gonna say we should explore the bus station, but it's just an SO gas station, so there's not really much to explore. Now we're just waiting for our bus to continue the Moncton to Halifax journey. Okay. It's a full bus today. Just at 10 after 3, we departed right on time. Leaving Amherst, our next stop would be Truro, in the heart of central Nova Scotia. To get there, we must cross the famous Kobukud Pass, a tolled highway section through the Kobukud Mountains, bypassing the old Wentworth Valley Highway, saving time on the commute to Halifax. Driving over the pass is my favorite part of the drive, so enough of my commentary, let's see some sights. Thank you. 
switching buses to go to Nebraska and again ish. Port Hawkesbury, Sydney, North Sydney will do so here. Can you guess where I am? Truro, Nova Scotia is a major stop for Maritime Bus as it is a transfer hub for people going to the uh, eastern side of Nova Scotia. So Cape Breton Island, Sydney, Nova Scotia, Antigonish, New Glasgow. In my case, I'm going all the way to Halifax still. But if you were to go to Cape Breton Island, you can do so on Maritime Bus. It's about five minutes we get to stand out here, stretch our legs, do whatever. Making the most of what I can right now before I hop back on for the last little bit of the ride. Before Maritime Bus became Atlantic Canada's bus service, the duty was performed by a Acadian Line, a company headquartered in Moncton, New Brunswick. You can even see the old Acadian Line sign here today. Between 1938 and 2012, the company performed much of the same routes Maritime Bus operates today. In 1995, the Irving Transportation Group purchased the company and merged it with the SMT Eastern and Orleans Express Line to form a unified Atlantic Canada bus service. However, in November 2012, Acadian Lines discontinued service due to low ticket sales and was replaced by the current Maritime Bus Company owned and operated by the Coach Atlantic Group. Just like that, we've arrived in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Despite taking admittedly a longer time to get there than as would driving usually be, Maritime Bus is still a great alternative for public transportation. It's better for the environment as there's less cars on the road, and it's a relatively good price too. For one way, I paid about $65 from Moncton to Halifax. That is gonna have to be it for me this week on Nova Travels. If you wanna see more transit reviews like this one, please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button so that I know that you guys like this video. If you're new around here, then consider subscribing because I post high quality travel videos like this every Every week for you guys to enjoy. That's it for me this week on Nuki Travels. Thank you so much for watching this video. And remember to enjoy the destination, but love the way there too. I'll see you folks sometime next week. Bye bye.